going to show you this super fun graphic liner look. I use the NYX uh, Vivid Brights liners, so you can see them in action. And I actually went with a bold lip today, so you can see that as well. <laughs> I'm really loving my hair right now, so I hope you guys enjoy this graphic liner. Perfect for any time, really, but perfect for spring and the warmer weather. So if you want to see how I got these eyes, then please keep watching. All right, so let's jump into this. I have my eyelids primed, and I'm going to be using the NYX Vivid Brights liners in the shade Delight and Petal. So first using Delight, I'm going to draw a wing. I'm drawing more of a straighter wing. So first I drew the tail out from the corner of my eye. And then I'm connecting that to my lash line and filling that in. Then I'm going towards the inner corner of the eye and I'm drawing a line across my lash line. Connecting them and just perfecting that. Just in my other eye off camera. And now I'm going in with petal and I am drawing a line slightly above our first wing. I am drawing another line on top and we're kind of making it into like a very odd triangle shape. <laughs> so then I am filling that in and I'm just going over that a couple times just to make it more opaque and clean up any of those edges. Now with concealer and a very thin paintbrush, I am cleaning up the lines. So just perfecting everything. And now with a Zoeva pencil brush, I am blending that concealer into the skin. And then I'm taking Petal again and I am fixing that. And with NYX white colored felt tip liner, I am going to be drawing like a half circle. So first I'm drawing a line. This liner is quite hard to put over um, a base and a shadow so would not recommend this but I'm just going over that and filling it in and making it thicker And then I'm cleaning that up with concealer and a very small thin paintbrush again. So then I was looking at it and I just did not like the way that the white looked. So I'm taking Suva Beauty's Hydro Liner in Space Panda, activating that with some Fix Plus, and I'm using a very small paintbrush and I'm going over that so that it is more opaque and looks better. <laughs> so I'm basically just tracing it. I made it a little thicker on the top end of it. Then I decided that I liked the way that it looked and I'm going to move on to NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil and I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eye and then kind of smudging that out with a Japanese smudger brush and next with this Real Colors Hydro Lips Lip Pencil I'm applying that to my waterline and lower lash line and I am taking the same Japanese smudger brush and I am smudging that out. Then with my Morphe Brushes 35C palette, I'm taking that light pink over on that side there. And I'm applying that over the pink base. 
looking and blending that out. I'm sorry, this is not in focus. I really apologize. Then I'm taking the orange from the 35C palette. I want to use a wave of pencil brush and I'm applying that to the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going over that with the white from the 35C palette and my Sigma E36 brush. And I'm basically applying that in a circular motion. And with MAC Nylon, I am highlighting my brow bone with my small shader brush. And next from House of Lashes, my Precious Gem Lash Case. Inside, I'll be wearing the Boudoir Lashes. And just popping that on. I'm using their white lash glue. And these are the finished eyes. And this is the finished look. I decided to go with a hot pink lip today because I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and use more lipsticks than just nude. So <laughs> this is Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Backstage Bammy, and I love the way that it looks. And with my hair, I did like, I pulled a part of it back, I braided it, and then I pinned it down so that it looks like, like a bun. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.